Hey guys, this is the behind the scenes for a walk in the scrapyard. Probably, well, actually definitely my hardest challenge when it comes to visual effects. So this first effect, um, most of the effects are actually done with a plugin called Saber for After Effects. It is a free plugin that you can get at videocopilot.com or .net, whatever it is. Best free plugin I've ever seen. Um, so as you can see here, I just made a mask a circular mask and just extended the uh, offset so like over time it would just kind of appear along the mask kind of as if it was charging up or whatever and then I had to mask myself to make it go behind me which you will see that there is a lot of masking in this movie probably the most masking I've ever done within four minute time or four and a half five minute and then the explosion, obviously, just a bunch of explosion pieces. So, this one, as you can see, there's a lot more masks. This actually isn't quite as hard as it looks. I just had to draw a bunch of masks and basically move them all by hand as the camera moved. And the masks, for those of you who don't know, uh, limit the effect, basically boundarying it within or without the mask or whatever. And then the fire, I motion tracked it to the scene and for those of you who don't know motion tracking is what the computer does to guess where the camera is moving to make the effect look like it's going with the background or whatever so it looks like it's actually there and then here you can see more masking more shaping around the object which this took a long time there really was no way to cheat this couldn't really motion track it um, so I had to do it all by hand and as you can see I am just kind of messing with the Saber plugin just to kind of show you guys the stuff you can do with it they have a bunch of really nice presets uh, Star Wars ones they have like Ghostbusters and all these different effects and it's very customizable but I don't go into detail on that because that's something you can just look up yourself and this shot, this has so many effects. Tons of masking, tons of uh, effects, just lots of stuff. I'll just let you watch for yourself and just see. So like every time you see one of those masks move, that's me having to move it by hand. All those frames I had to do by hand. Took a long time. And here, this shield effect, that I thought this was a pretty cool effect, that, see how it's kind of curved, kind of looks like it's actually a force field, that's all that is, is just a flat video of that, an ink drop, and I literally just bent it in 3D space. So here it is without the bend, and here it is with the bend right here. And you can adjust it. Just basic After Effects effects. And then that is done with Element 3D. And basically it's just a 3D object that I just animated. I did not make the object that's, that comes with the program. I did do the animation though. And this whip. This was one of my most challenging moments. Not the most challenging. We're getting there. But this is probably the second most challenging thing I've ever done when it comes to visual effects. It's nothing more than just a mask. It's actually two masks, but every frame by hand. There's absolutely no physics plugin whatsoever. I had to guess with every movement what the whip was going to do next as to try and make it look like a real whip. So. That was pretty challenging. That took like a week, literally. But the lightsabers, these were the most crazy hard effect. Like they weren't that hard to do. It was more just time consuming. Because every frame I had to drag, drag and drop the ends of the lightsabers to line up with the poles. So I was skeptical about doing this. I did actually find out eventually that I can just motion track the ends, as you can see here. 
I just set the point for the computer to, to uh, figure out, and then I play it and it motion tracks it for me. But I can't just do that the whole time because as you are about to see, when the background changes, it gets all messed up and I have to fix it by hand for every one of those frames. So that saves me about like half the time, which is a lot, but it still took a long time. All the lightsabers took about 15 separate work days to finish. And there's tons of masking, as you can tell. Each one of those masks, every frame, all by hand. I'll just let you ponder on this for a minute. So yeah, about 15, maybe 20 days of work were all right there, and it was all over in a minute. And this is a bunch of different explosions all overlaid to look like one, and some fire, and some shadows and dust. And then there's Jude, who's actually hiding behind a picture of the background that I did in Photoshop. Didn't quite end up exactly how I like it. You can kind of tell there's a picture, but when the explosion's over, you can't really notice it. So, it's, it's alright. Not completely satisfied, but it's alright. And I just keep, keep like, and then I force you to the ground, and then get you. Like, oh! Oh, you okay? Oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh no. No, it's fine. Okay? Actually, that wasn't that bad. <laughs>